Let's go to ComSec. Tom Pachowski is live for us. Uh, we're still on that downer at the moment, aren't we? Tom, how are things looking today? Pete, uh, look, we're looking forward to a small gain at the start of trade this morning. The spy's up by about two points, but you take that with a grain of salt. There's a lot for investors to navigate as far as today's session is concerned. And indeed, there's a lot to digest in terms of the developments of the Northern Hemisphere session last night. There are quite a few important peripheral events, uh, which we'll uh, just mention. So there was a devaluation of the Argentinian currency. We saw the Russian ruble fall to a 16-month low. That sort of instability on the periphery is sometimes important to keep an eye on in case it sort of gets out of hand. But in terms of the narrative, yesterday we saw the local resource sector uh, marked down on the back of concerns around the Chinese property developer space. That reverberated throughout the European session. We saw that in the underperformance of energy and material stocks. They were the two worst performing groups in European trade. Uh, we had the FTSE down by about a quarter of a percent. The French market just in positive territory. And the German DAX was up by a half of 1%. The stock 600 index, which is a broader measure of the European stock performance, that was just in positive territory. Bit of a bump higher for German uh, interest rates. So a two-year government bond in Germany up by about three basis points. US markets. So this uh, really got uh, overshadowed by an outperformance of the technology space, Pete. So since the end of uh, last Last month, we have seen a decline where U.S. technology names are concerned because of a bump higher in interest rates. But last night, uh, they rebounded as a group. We saw that in the performance of the Philadelphia Semiconductor Index. That's a benchmark for the performance of technology names. This index was up by the most part of 3%. So names like NVIDIA up by 7%, Micron up 6%, Advanced Micro Devices up by 4%. Big gains for those uh, chip makers. So quite a recovery there that saw the NASDAQ. NASDAQ up by 1.1%, the S&P 500 up 0.6 of a percent. So today uh, we've got a lot of Chinese economic news to navigate, Pete. We've got a yeah. procession of uh, local uh, ASX companies reporting results and we've got the wage price index released as well, a key measure of wage inflation. So a lot to get across today. All right, Tom Pachowski, thank you.